Yeah, I like the depth. Um, depth is good if they're quality and can get on the floor, and we feel there are a number of guys that can do that. Ian being an uh, all-newcomer selection last year, um, joined with some by some guys that have some proven experience throughout their career, and, and even last year, Marcella Sparksdale uh, got some key minutes as a, as a freshman um, and went through a lot of battles and wars and gained some heavy experience. Sean Esposito has played on some very good teams, surrounded by some very good players, and he's always been in the mix, so that's good for him. Um, P.J. Huber is someone that's got some health under him. Uh, that only gives him confidence. He has a lot of skill, a lot of ability, and he's looking to transfer that to the hardwood. Uh, Greg Rice has a lot of experience as well and has some, some perimeter um, attributes where he can play multiple positions. And then you throw in a new guy like John Hart, um, who's you know spent the last four years in the Big Ten. All of a sudden, that experience, you look older, you feel older, and um, a, a lot of learned situations and good habits have been formed by all those guys, and that usually spells success as well. Well, Greg Rice returns. Uh, he really played a lot of roles for us last year. Uh, as we had two of our point guards go down with injury last year, Stephen Thomas and Jordan Shanklin, for extended periods, Greg was there and held the fort down. Um, Jordan Shanklin, uh, very promising talent, um, that you know just was injury uh, bitten last year as he was really playing well he broke his hand and just it was tough to get going with that during the season um, so he's back in the mix he's had a great spring summer fall as well and uh, then he's throwing Cortell Busby a highly recruited freshman point guard as well uh, so those three I think will will pose a lot of problems for teams defensively. I think they both have a great handle, or all three of them have a great handle for what we do offensively. Uh, you also throw in Mr. Versatility, Marcella Sparksdale, who can play guard and perform at a pretty good level at four positions. As you said, that certainly gives you depth. So um, that's exciting. I think um, you never want to be injured, but sometimes injuries are part of it. We're certainly, I think everyone in the country this week kind of goes through some of those things. And you slide guys in different roles, see how they respond. And if it's something that fits, you have more experience at that position than maybe. You know, those two, I think, uh, kind of are prototypical IUPUI booking forwards. Uh, they live on the glass. Um, they're good in transition, they're a mismatch problem, good in pick and pop, good in pick and roll. They can guard threes, fours, fives if need be. Uh, so versatility has always been in the forefront, even in the recruiting process. And then they come here and kind of learn that position. Um, Elijah Ray, a newcomer um, who's been a little bit injured, but has done very, very well all spring and fall, or summer and fall. And um, uh, you combine that with some of the fr other frontliners, Mitchell Patton and Cameron Lepker. There's some good battles. Um, so Nick Kickoff in the mix as well. He's probably played as well as anyone these first 10 to 12 practices, and that's because it's his, uh, you know, in his first rodeo. He has a lot of college basketball under his belt, and it looks that way. It shows on the floor. So uh, that's what's neat, just the number of guys I continually list, um, with the exception of Elijah Ray, who I mentioned as a front court guy, Linwood Ross, who's a very exciting, promising, promising uh, prospect as a 6'4", six, 6'5", six, wing kid. Um, everyone else kind of has some Division One experience under their belt, and uh, that wasn't quite the case a year ago. And you don't, unbeknownst to me, you know, and that's that's kind of a shock because I felt I really had a great feel for for our guys and where we were. Um, some of that inexperience showed itself, but uh, the great way from you earn experience is go through situations, and it doesn't become experience until you've learned. Um, so this is a learning, hardworking, unified group that uh, is really Cam's fun. very unique. Um, um, he's not on scholarship, but he, you know, can play at this level. And uh, being an older kid, fifth year senior, um, he has some experience of being coached and practicing. Now it's getting on the floor and, and seeing where that translates. Um, so we're excited to have a guy that size, that kind of touch, um, that offensive ability, um, deaf passing touch, great touch around the basket with both hands. Um, and then Mitchell Patton, we're very excited. Uh, even from the recruiting process to now, just knowing the progress he and Donovan uh, could progress into with with just learning the game. You know, I think as you go through your freshman and sophomore year, you've probably seen just about all the scenarios, different defenses, different coverages, how teams are going to defend you in pick and roll situations, pick and pop, how you're going to do the same. Likewise, um, zone, man, you know, presses, a lot of different scenarios they've been a part of, and that's how you learn. So. You know, we want to continue that learning curve, and then it's about concentrating and performing, and that's where they are. Um, as we've practiced and had a few scrimmages, their numbers have been great. Uh, they've been very consistent day in, day out in terms of rebounding, shot making, um, and being a big part of our offense. So, um, you know, 
Mitch Kim, Donovan Lionel, Nick Kitkoff, you know, it gives you some very good depth um, with some older guys.